Hi. So I wanted to talk about something different today, but uh, I drew a couple cards to kind of give me an idea of what to what to talk to you about today. At the moment, I don't necessarily have a plan as to what I'm going to discuss each time. So I had talked about, you know, trusting your intuition and getting more familiar with listening to your intuition. And I pulled a couple cards from this deck that I have. Well, uh, Wisdom of Hafiz. Hafiz. And I love it because, you know, hummingbirds. Who doesn't love hummingbirds? And uh, the cards that I got were Have Courage, which has an elephant on it, which apparently an elephant right now is one of my totems. It keeps showing up everywhere. I don't, I don't know what's going on, but ever since Maverick, thank you, Margie and RJ, which we'll talk about at a later time, but that was so wonderful. Elephants have been showing up everywhere, just all over the place. And then the other card that I got was this one with the owl, Trust Your Wisdom. So I figured, okay, that's what we're going to talk about, is have courage and trust your wisdom. So have courage to trust your wisdom. There are a lot of times that we get caught up in the logical mind and uh, you know how things ought to be or how things should be or what I need to be doing or you know I have these responsibilities, obligations, whatever it is, but they're going against our innate wisdom. They're going against what we feel in our gut we should be doing differently. It's not always easy to listen to what's going on inside us. It's not always easy to take the time to just care of everybody else but forget about taking care of myself I'm gonna do for everybody else but not do for me I'm going to generate all of this whatever for everybody else and then I'll get mine later and we need to remember that we've got to take care of ourselves so one of the things that we were talking about at Maverick was I think it was Maverick is filling your cups you've got a cup and a saucer so fill your cup to overflowing for yourself and then give from everybody else from that saucer. Whatever's left over. But you've got to fill that cup first. And I mean fill it all the way to the brim, not just halfway, not just three quarters of the way, not to the, not to the edge, not to the brim, but overflowing so that you have enough to give to other people. If you're not trusting your wisdom and taking the courage to, to say no to the things that don't serve you or saying yes to the things that really feel good. You're not going to be able to take care of anybody else or help anybody else or you know serve other people. Whatever it is that, that you feel you need to do, none of that's going to be able to be possible if you're not taking care of yourself. Your health deteriorates, your mental stability deteriorates, your you know physical body, I think and can't take care of yourself. You're draining yourself beyond what you're capable of. Totally rambling, not making sense. We might have to cut that out. Taking a few minutes for ourselves. Whenever we get a chance. Even if you set an alarm on your clock, on your phone, for every hour. Or better yet, set it so that it goes off randomly. So there are apps out there that mindfulness apps. <laughs> yeah. I used to have this one that I, I love, but for some reason it's I don't know if it's on my I had it on my Android and now I can't get it on my Apple or what. I'll have to see if I can find it, but it was like a mindfulness bell. And it was a a bell like a Tibetan a Tibetan bowl, you know the the bowls. Bowl. Anyway. And so it would go off all these random times. I'd be in the store. Boom. I'd be talking to a client. Boom. Hanging out in the house with Roy. Boom. 
made me stop, think about what I was doing, who I was with, what I was thinking about. And even when I was with a client, I would stop mid-sentence. And they're asking, what the heck was that? I wouldn't answer them for a few seconds. And just breathe. And then I would say, it's my mindfulness spell. It just reminds me to take a few seconds to come back to where I am right here and be present. Oh, that is so cool. What is it? What is it? What is it? I shared it with so many people. So I think I need to find it and put it back on my phone because even though I make a point of trying to remember to do that, there are so many days that I don't do that. So taking small steps like that to be able to go in and go, okay, come back into who, who I am, what I need to do, what I need to do is be able to be centered and be present and be in this moment and not be thinking about, oh my God, I got to do this. I got to be here. I got to do that. I got to take care of this because your brain's like all over the place going buzzing all over like crazy and you're not appreciating why you're actually here which is to enjoy every single minute of what you're experiencing what we're experiencing in the minute in this absolute moment right now is why we're here i really am starting to understand that our purpose everybody's got you got to have a purpose what if our purpose is to just enjoy this second, this moment, this right now, right now, right now? What if, what if it's nothing more than that and allowing for all this stuff to just come into you, to come into your world, be open to whatever comes into your world, whoever comes into your world, things that you would never expect start showing up and your world just gets more and more expansive just because you're paying attention to those small things what if in this moment right now i get this nudge to do something in particular small thing i don't know reach out to somebody just to say hi and that person has like oh my gosh i was just thinking about you i was going to call you for this job if i hadn't been paying attention and hadn't been listening and hadn't been in that moment and been thinking instead about, oh my gosh, I got to email this person. I got to call so-and-so for work and make sure, you know, follow up with them and make sure that that job that we're supposed to be working is still going. If I hadn't been in this moment and breathing and taking a second to just go, okay, what, what am I feeling right now? Oh, thought pops into my head. I call that person. Hey, I've got this great job for you. I've got this great project I need you to help, you know, I'd like you to help you with. Help you with. Wouldn't have shown up. Because maybe they would have called, but maybe they were thinking about calling somebody else. Might not have fit so well, but you know, because they hadn't thought that you would be interested in that thing. And you call and you start talking to them about whatever. Hey, I haven't talked to you in a while. How's things going? What you up to? You know? And they're like, I'm working on this thing. And you're like, really? I've always thought about doing that. I'd be really interested in knowing more about it. What the heck? Let's work together. So, so, and that's how things happen. It's crazy. It's fun. It's exciting. It's so much easier. Really, we do not have to push. We do not have to push so hard. If you're open and you take courage to just have faith. And I know it's not easy for a lot of people. So I did this uh, short course with Marjane. Marjane has been like in my life a lot lately. Thank you again, Marjane. Sacred gifts. And I really think I want to see one becoming a facilitator for that because it's phenomenal. It's very short and concise. I mean, you know, like once a week for three weeks. But in that time, you learn what your sacred gifts are. What is it that you're really, like, what are you really good at? Not you've learned to be good at, but what is innate in you? And one of my things is just an absolute knowing, a complete trust in things are going to work out. And I, I didn't realize that that was a gift. I just thought that's just me. I've always, I've always just known that 
you know, we're going to end up with, we're going to have money in the bank, or we're going to be able to take care of the things that we want to take care of, or, you know, money for Christmas is going to show up, whatever it is. I've just known that that's going to happen. I just trust that the, and have faith that the universe is just going to bring these things to me. And Roy's, Roy's not that his faith is not that strong. His strength in trust, as far as that's concerned, is not that strong. And he's always like, no, we got to do this, we got to do this, we got to do this, we got to reach out to people, we got to call, we got to, you know, hustle. And here's me. I got to do the things I got to do, right? You know, I'm not going to just sit and do nothing because then nothing happens. As much as people are like, oh yeah, manifesting is just putting it out into the world and then just sitting there and doing, letting it go and then doing nothing and it'll come to you. No! Does the universe even know that that you're really interested in that if you're not going to put forth a little bit of effort? At least do something to move you in the direction of the things that you'd like to accomplish. I mean, seriously, people, come on, let's think about this. If you said to somebody, I want whatever, and then you just sat there and did nothing, what makes you think that it's going to show up? I don't understand that. How does anybody know that you're actually truthfully wanting that thing if you're not willing to at least put a little bit of effort into getting it? I don't know. I think maybe just because the way we were raised, it was like, you know, you've got to go out there and get it. You've got to go out there and do it. And you don't have to go out and like push. I don't believe that, that, we, have, that we have to do that. But we do have to do something. You know, even if it's like putting together a game plan, uh, an, an idea of, of what it is that you can do. I can learn something new. I can, you know, reach out to somebody who may know something about this that I can ask questions about or, you know, kind of get some more information about it. Or I can, you know, I can go take a walk and maybe meet somebody that knows something or knows someone. You got to get out and do something, whatever. But trust in your wisdom and taking courage to make the moves that you need to make to be able to do these things that you need to do. I know I sort of rambled a lot on that one, but you're going to get some like this where I'm just rambling. And I hope you're okay with that because if you're not, skip so, I'll let you guys go.